Hello, and welcome to this review. Sorry that I haven't done any in a while. Well, let's just say I've been lazy. That's the, sh the easiest way to explain it. Uh, but now I'm back, so let's get to this review of Gangster Squad, shall we? Now, true story aside and whatnot, um, granted it's inspired by a true story based on a book called uh, The story, Stories from the Gangster Squad, this is overall an awesome movie. Um, uh, what was it? Um, you know, of course, great storyline, great actors. I mean, every actor in this movie was just fantastic. I was great with everybody. Ryan Gosling, Josh Brolin, Giovanni Ribisi, everybody. I was surprised and glad to see Robert Patrick in this movie. I was glad to see him actually playing a good guy for once. It's been a while, probably a long while since we've seen him play a good guy. Um, it was fun seeing a bunch of other faces that we've seen from like regular gangster movies. I, I can't remember name, name some of them, but when you see their faces, you're like, oh yeah, that guy, I've seen him in that gangster movie or this gangster movie. There's, there's somebody I've seen in a... Was it the Rocketeer? Uh, the first movie I've seen him in, which is kind of another way, a kind of gangster movie and a kind of comic book movie was uh, what the Rocketeer was, and I saw that guy in that movie, and I've seen him in pretty much every gangster movie since. Uh, so it was cool to see him. Uh, the set, uh, the uh, the sets were awesome. You know, just perfect forties, fifties look. Uh, cars, sets, you know, style of makeup, costumes. The works were just perfect. Um, the, uh, what was it, the, I was surprised to find this was directed by, uh, the guy who did Zombieland. Uh, I, I was surprised, you know, because, because the way he did it the last time, it was just, that movie was just hilarious and yet cool at the same time. It was interesting to see him to do a, a serious movie like this, uh, what, with, it, it was also humorous, too. You had, there was a lot, some funny moments in this movie, too. It wasn't just hardcore drama, there were some funny moments, but, it was more of a serious movie than Zombieland. Um, I particularly liked um, one thing in this movie. Actually, it's several things. Because, the, it, what was it? Um, the way this movie was put together, every little detail of this movie seemed to complement one another. Particularly during action scenes. You got, of course, the acting from the people, the action that's going on in the movie, the writing, the directing, and cinematography, and the editing. Everything, and special effects, of course, you know, because they have to do a little touch of details and whatnot. Everything, when put together during an action scene, complemented each other so well that each cut and every movement was just perfect. It just moved that action, moved the scene along just smoothly and perfectly. And uh, that, that it just went boom, 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 move, 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 move. And you just went along right around with it and did not lose one second of detail, and you just like hooked to that screen. It was, it was awesome. I I loved it, and I actually want to see this movie again if I ever get a chance to. Um, and the uh, the uh, movie, uh, the like I said, the movie was awesome. I'm not gonna say it's like so Academy Award worthy or something. It's it's not like a movie that's like something you'd put up put up for judges or anything. It's it's just a movie to have fun, to be entertained with, and. Okay, I'll say maybe it should be getting nominated for, like, maybe editing and cinematography or something, but it was just an awesome movie. I, it was just enjoyable. It was great. I give this movie, like, out of all, I'd say out of five stars, like, three and a half, because of that little bit of, like, like I said, how everything seemed to complement each other during action scenes. So, uh, yeah, three and a half stars. Uh, I would like to see uh, something like this again from the director, um, although I also would like to see a zombie land, too. Uh, and, uh, yeah, uh, although I would have to admit, I would have liked to have seen that scene, although it probably, even with the Aurora shooting, it, it would probably would, they probably would have taken it out anyway, maybe, because it's probably a bit too much, because they needed to move the story along, I don't know, but I would have liked to see the scene that they took out with the gangster shooting through the movie screen, if you remember that from the trailer, you know, because of the Aurora shooting, they had to take that out. Uh, but I would have liked to have seen, seen that, um, maybe, maybe when the DVD comes out, we can all see it in the deleted scenes or something, um, but, 
yeah, it would have been nice to have seen it in the actual movie, but, you know, they had to take it out for obvious reasons. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I guess that's pretty much all I have to talk about that movie. Um, very short, sweet, to the point. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.